Trust me, I have watched so many videos before I got my conch piercing. I watched about 50 videos of people talking about whether it hurt or not because I was so scared. And all of them said it was the worst piercing they've ever gotten. And for me, it wasn't even that bad, but I'll get to that later. Hi, hello, my name is Lara. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here with me today to talk about piercings, which is one of my favorite things to do. I am finally making this video. You don't know how long I've been waiting to do this because I knew I was gonna get more piercings and I wanted to try more piercings to give you better information, I guess, about the different kind of piercings and my whole experience. And I have to say, I'm a little bit addicted as well because I have some kind of commitment issues that lead me to not getting tattoos. Like, I'm too scared of getting tattoos. Tattoos? Tattoos? Tattoos, tat because I want really badass tattoos and if I get them and they're really big and I don't like them anymore then I get piercings because the little holes on my ear you don't really see from far away and if I don't like them anymore I'm just gonna take my piercings out and that's it so I am first gonna talk a bit about my experience while getting the piercings and the pain and then I'm gonna give you some tips of mine in the end and yeah let's just let's just talk about piercings so before we start, I have to say I have quite a high pain tolerance. So I just want to give a new perspective of someone with a higher pain tolerance or just in general, a different opinion. So if you're thinking about getting piercings or got piercings already, definitely let me know your experience with the piercing and how it went or whether you've gotten it or whether you've gotten it after watching this video, that would be awesome. And if you're as passionate about it as me, just let me know. So these are, these are my piercings. I actually don't know how many I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I guess. One con is that your hair always gets stuck in the piercings. So the first piercings I got were my low piercings. My mom got them for me when I was five years old. I don't remember much about them, but they were done with a pistol. I don't know if you know this, but never get your piercings done with a pistol. Always get them done with a needle. Well, that is very important because your gewebe basically bursts when um, they put the pistol through there or you're pissing through there so always go for the needle very important so I got my lobes done with a pistol I don't remember much I still have them didn't have many problems with them afterwards so these were my first piercings. So the second one I got was this kind of like fake helix thing because every girl got the helix and I actually thought it was kind of cute because I was really obsessed with piercings before them. So they all got these helixes and I wanted one too but not the same one because I thought that was too basic for me so I got the one in the middle. I got that done when I was about 15 or 16 and the lady that did it the first time kind of messed it up, kind of got infected so I had to get it done again. Since then I don't have any problems with it. I really love it. It's really cute and it didn't really hurt. Like that was on a scale from one to 10. It was kind of like a two. So I didn't have any problems with that afterwards. It didn't really hurt, but um, when it was infected, it was really nasty and painful. So go to a good piercer. After a long break in, I think 2018 or 19, in December, which is the best time to get piercings in my opinion, because it's always cool. And in times when we're not in this kind of situation, we can also go to the swimming pool. So the colder months are actually a lot better to get piercings. I got my conch done and I actually also had a helix that was upright because a actually a k-pop star i really loved um he passed away like a week before i got them done and in memory of him i got it because he is just such an inspirational person so actually the conch was the piercing i watched all of those videos for because i was super scared because it's thick cartilage no lie i watched about 50 videos and one person said it didn't hurt at all and luckily that was the same thing for me the conch was one of the least painful piercings i've ever gotten it was more of a discomfort it didn't hurt at all so i don't know what these other piercers did wrong but i really enjoyed getting it done because i wanted it for the longest time and it didn't even hurt maybe i was too excited for it to hurt but I don't know. So yeah, conch wasn't painful at all. Helix a bit more, but I think I got that 
done second so maybe my body was like okay bitch, that's enough please stop punching holes into my body so but also not that bad so i would say the helix was about a five and the conch was about a three but actually i think for this outer cartilage part it's way more sensitive for me than any other part of my ear so maybe that's why after that, I got myself a present because after I finished musical school, there was a time I was a bit kind of down. Maybe I was just bored. I also wanted to get low piercings, a lot of them. So I got those and I also got a rook. And the rook I got because of Jenny from Blackpink and I thought it looked so cute on her. So when I saw it on her in the As If It's Your Last video, I had to get it. So I got it. And it also didn't hurt as much as I thought because I got my two other low piercings on my right done the same time I got my rook done and I think the rook was the first one I got that day and the rook was about a four and the lobes were a five yes the lobes for me are just really uncomfortable while getting them so they're on the pain scala they're equal to the helix really weird I know but that's just how it is for me so I got that done I was super happy with it I had to get my wisdom teeth removed and I also removed all my piercings during the operation because I had a foil necrosis and the rook I couldn't put back in because I don't know about any of you but the rook piercing is the only piercing I can take out and put back in by myself so I had to get it done at the piercers and during that week I didn't put it back in it shut 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 it grew shut I, I, I had to take it out and I had to get it done again let's say it like that English on point which was a bummer because it's kind of expensive but that was the only problem I could sleep on it immediately like that's the only piercing I really had no problem with after it was done so the piercings I got done most recently is actually uh, my rook the second time and on the same day I also got my industrial done and I also got myself the second low piercing I don't know if you can see it the second low piercing I got because of V by BTS. I know. I got all my piercings because of K-pop stars. I don't know if that's really cringy, but it looks really cute on them. So I thought I would look as cute. So yeah, I got my industrial done and my second lobe and my root. Again, for the... It didn't hurt that much but as it was the thing I got done last on that day my body again was kind of like okay girl stop now and I could sleep on it immediately again as for the low piercing the piercer himself said he kind of f***ed up and he offered me to pierce it again after a few weeks but I actually kind of like it and I'm just gonna keep it in and hope it doesn't bug me in the future although it's kind of a bit painful still in the back so I have to like really keep it clean and take care of it but that's totally fine with me because I really like the way it looks. As for the industrial, I remember this one girl while everyone was getting helixes. She was also one of the girls who wanted a helix but didn't want to be that basic bitch, so she got an industrial done and that's the first time I think I saw that. Hers looked like a f horror movie. Her whole ear was big blue and bloody. That sounds really weird, but <laughs> that's actually what it looked like. Not anymore. <laughs> and I remember sitting next to her in chemistry class and looking at it and was like, girl, what the f And she was like, yeah, I just got it done, but I don't know how to take care of it. That's what it looked like. And for me also, mine didn't look that much better for the first two days. And the piercer also warned me about this as there are so many blood blutbahnen so there are a lot of blutbahnen running through that area so during the first few days you might experience severe blooding what and he warned me about this it didn't look as bad as the one from my classmate i woke up the next morning and i was kind of really scared because my whole pillow was bloody okay not you know as much as you would imagine an ear to produce blood but still was kind of scary waking up and the stains are not coming out that's fine with me i think it looks cute i got the lobe done first that day and and that was again kind of a five it was really uncomfortable as all of the other low piercings i also got the industrial done next and that was actually not that bad it was kind of painful it wasn't just uncomfortable i think i personally prefer short-term pain over uncomfortableness so it was about a 
4.5 I would say for the industrial because there it has to get through the cartilage twice and for the lobe it was again a 5 and for the rook it was I would say it was a bit worse because that's the last piercing I got done that day and my body again was like please stop so that was about a 6.5 but afterwards, I had a nice picnic in the park with my friends, so it was all good. Oh my god, I, I totally forgot about my second low piercing on this side. When did I get that done? Kind of was like all the other low piercings, I guess. Girl, I have too many piercings. I don't even know. But yes, yeah, so that's about the pain and like my experience with those kind of piercings. And now on to something more general. So my number one tip to keeping your piercings pretty and healthy and like from getting infected. My number one tip is to not touch your piercings ever, which I'm really bad at. I was good for the first month, but then about two weeks ago, I started picking on my industrial and I hate myself for that because there's this skin forming every time you kind of do that like even if you think they're like done and they're healed as soon as you touch them and pick on them they will get infected and like be skin forming around the piercings and it will not look cute and everything was for the cat Wow, that was really German. Like you spend so much money on getting piercings, at least in Germany. I don't know about other countries because I remember in Korea, it's really cheap to get piercings. Just don't pick on them. Apply your spray or whatever they give you constantly. And one thing my piercer always said to me, if everything else fails, I should put Kochsalzlösung on it. So yeah, my only tips would be don't touch them. I'm serious, don't even think about touching your piercings ever, thank you. And disinfect them even after you think they're healed. That was also a mistake I kind of did when I got my first ones done and I think they would have healed a lot quicker and better if I just kept on spraying them. Another thing I forgot to add, which is actually also very important, is while getting the piercings, don't forget to breathe. If you breathe into the pain or focus on your breathing, it will be over much quicker and you actually concentrate on something else. And I feel like it just really helps in general in situations where you might experience pain. Okay, back to the original audio. I like talking about piercings. Maybe I'll do another one in the future with even, I hope I won't have even more. Maybe I will do a video talking about tattoos at one point. But yeah, that was it. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know. I would love to answer them because I like talking about piercings. And also give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful or you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again very soon. I got some stuff planned. <laughs> Plan. I got some stuff planned. Stay happy, healthy and hydrated and I will see you again soon. Bye. I really hope I didn't forget to add anything like my low piercing. I love my piercings. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, meow.